Well, hello folks, it's Jim Odesen. Today, we're going to check if these potentiometers, these pots, are linear or logarithmic. The simplest way to test them, or to know, of course, is to look at them. If they are called A, so this is 50,000 ohms, and it's an A, X2. The X2 means it's a stereo, stereo potentiometer thing there, but the A means it's a logarithmic one. So this is a logarithmic or volume pot. We're gonna measure this later uh, in case your isn't, uh, it doesn't have anything on it. This on the other hand is B, 10K. So uh, it's uh, 10,000 ohms uh, and it is, uh, I may say here too, I don't know. But in any case, uh, B is a linear and A is logarithmic, but uh, we're going to measure it too. So here we have my little analog meter. I'm going to connect some cables here so we can easily use them. Then I'm obviously going to set this dial to measure ohms. Let's see here, we see the little ohm symbol there. I think, I think, uh, well, let's try this. Let's try this one. And they're also always made in this way with three legs. You want to connect uh, the sides like this outer one there and the one in the middle. You can select any of the sides. It's just for the logarithmic one. It of course matters a lot which side you use because otherwise your volume will be very reversed. So if you write this up here, you can see that it is a pretty linear scale going on here. Just like that. When we're turning it, it's pretty linearly controlled within its range. So we can see. Now I found the right scale, one kilo ohms. You can see we can go down. We can go up to the top here, just like that, and just adjust it. It moves smoothly across the entire one. So if I do this and I replace its polarity like this, and I try again, and of course it reverses, but it's the same type of smooth transition when I'm, when I'm measuring this and screwing on the pot here. So, then we know this one is very linear, as it said. Now we have the stereo one here. Uh, we of course don't need to measure both channels here. We'll just connect them up. You can see we're screwing here. It's on 50k, right? Nothing happens. Screw some more, screw some more. Okay, now st stuff is starting to happen. Oh. And you can see the, the last millimeters in this entire range. It's kind of weird. All right, so if I do like this and I reverse its polarity, one there, and I will try again, we can see that, oh, all right. So now when we're screwing, it's, oh, it's very, very careful in the start here. We can screw a lot to change between one uh, and zero ohms, screw them up to two, and then it's, ah, okay. Much smoother movement, but much more control down here. So you can see this is a logarithmic scale. It doesn't move smooth across the board and it gets reversed uh, if we uh, reverse the inputs, while the linear ones behave the exact same way even though uh, we reverse the inputs. So that's basically um, the way the needle turns. If it's like this at one, kind of smooth like this on one side, but very good control in the start here uh, on one side. And if you reverse its polarity, it's suddenly very like strange, like you screw a lot here to even reach it to be between 50 and 20. And then down here is boom, super quick. Then you know, this is definitely a logarithmic one. So that's how to differentiate between an audio, an A logarithmic potentiometer and a B linear potentiometer with some measuring instruments. 
Thanks a lot for watching and do stay tuned for future videos. If you want to check out some other of my wiring tutorials and electric stuff, you can probably check out this video on the screen here. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. See you in your next video here. This is your host, Jim Edison, signing out.